Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and it's another early morning for me, it's almost like 6 a.m. And this would be the third and the last video of the three part helm series which you are doing right. And in this video I'm going to talk about helm hooks, very important topic and how would you actually go about and test your helm charts right because you would need some mechanism to test it. So that, that's we are, what we are going to see and I'll be, I mean I have just one example and I'll, using that example I'll try to cover both the concepts right. So this is just conceptual, uh, you can extend it as much as you want but I'm just going to show you how right. So hooks, uh, if, if you work with a uh, technology you would know hooks is basically a mechanism provided by any technology to basically intervene uh, at some point uh, during the deployment or release right so let me give you an example uh, if, if you work with AWS so in AWS while well, when you're auto scaling so there are life cycle hooks which can actually pause and intervene in your auto scaling process to perform some actions right same goes with helm uh, you can actually intervene during uh, when you're deploying your release and perform some action. A bunch of hooks are available. I'll put the link in the description for the documentation. So uh, hooks like pre-install, post-install, pre-delete, post-delete, pre-upgrade, post-upgrade, right? All those hooks are available to you. And those hooks are actually mentioned in the annotation part of your uh, YAML file. And when you create a hook, uh, it, it's like a normal YAML template in your uh, Helm uh, templates directory all right so let me just give you an example so uh, we'll use our wordpress uh, wordpress help chart so let's just pull it from bitnami mm. all right so we now have a WordPress directory, right? And I have actually created a hook file, right? So this is a very simple hook file and this is a post install hook. So post install hooks are triggered when all of your resources are created when, you, when you're doing a release in Helm, right? So deployment services, everything is created, then this hook is actually called. So if you're, if you're doing a pre-install, that hook would be called when none of your resources are available, right? So I'm doing a post-install hook. And this is a very simple hook that actually does a DNS lookup on my service. So when, when I'll deploy this uh, Helm chart, uh, a service with name my WordPress would be created and I want to make sure that it resolves to something, right? And mind you, if you're hook fails your whole release fails right so your hook actually have to pass uh, in order for uh, your yeah your hook actually have to pass in order for your release to pass right so let's get started so now let's what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy my hook yaml into wordpress templates directory right because it's it's like a normal template file a yaml file clear the screen and now i'm going to go ahead and install my wordpress and i need to set the service type uh, as notepad because by default uh, bitnami wordpress actually points to load balance service so let's say service dot type equals no port. Hit enter. And it is deployed, right? So helm list would show that it is deployed. Great. The screen. So you must be wondering what happened, right? What did my hook do? So if I do kubectl you get pods you see there's my wordpress dns lookup uh, pod created right and it is in completed state so let's look at the logs for this pod let's go 
copy this paste it and you can see so it did the dns resolution for my service so if i do cdl okay service so this is the service my wordpress so it did the dns resolution for it and it resolved it to an ip right and that's why my release got passed so if somehow this thing would have failed my release would have failed right so that's what the hooks actually do all right so that's about hook and one thing so hooks the resources created by hooks are actually managed outside of helm so if i do helm uh, uninstall uh, my WordPress it's uninstalled but if I do kubectl get pods you can see that DNS lookup is still there right so this is managed so in order to manage it inside your helm chart there's an annotation which is available i think it is called hook succeed so if you, if you put that uh, annotation uh, the pod or the resource created would be terminated on success right so that's how you can do that but yeah, i mean if you are not doing that then you actually have to go and manually delete these pods all right so now uh, coming to test so again like a proper or like a good helm chart practice you must test all your helm charts and you must uh, basically you because you would be creating a lot of resources right so and as an author of a particular chart or as a creator of the chart you must validate right you must have some kind of validation to test your charts and see whether they are doing as expected or not right so for that uh, there's a hook a special kind of hook called test right so the name of the hook is called test so not pre-install post install there's a hook called test and using that hook you can actually test your uh, help chart right so what i'm going to do is so i actually have created a my test file over here and i'm like i told you i'll be using the same example so you can see this is doing the same thing it's just doing ns lookup on my wordpress service so this is the test so once my all my resources are created i want to test if this is working or not right so this is a kind of test similarly you can write tests for your deployments pods replica sites whatever resources you're creating right so i'm doing a test for my service uh, so how do we do that so again we'll basically go back up and again install oh no no so before doing that let me copy this uh, wordpress so this actually needs to go inside templates directory and inside templates directory you actually have to create a directory called test so let's do that so uh, WordPress templates tests right and then I'm going to copy my test YAML to WordPress templates tests right and now let's again do the deployment or this to feeling too lethargic or lazy to type command let's just use this all right all right now i have the deployment um this all right it's deployed now in order to test it uh, the command is helm test and the name of your release so my name release is what am i saying the name of my release is my wordpress so you can see 
phase succeeded. So my test suite, it actually succeeded. So this is how you basically test your uh, health charts. So probably you would write, uh, I mean, and, and by default, you won't have a test directory, right? So you actually have to create a test directory. Maybe in some health charts you pull, they have the tests already built for you. And maybe for some you don't, right? So you actually have to write your own tests. So yeah, that's that's pretty much it. All right, so yeah, that's that's all I had for this video, guys. I hope you liked the video. This was a three-part series for Helm. Covered most of the important topics. Uh, I mean, there are there are a bunch of things in Helm, but probably that is for you to explore, right? Uh, and if you're looking for any guidance, just feel free to comment. I'll be very happy to help you out, right? So yeah, that's it for this video. Please do subscribe to the channel before leaving. Thank you for watching.